There's nothing more annoying than seeing a 20% open rate from your email campaigns because of inactive subscribers. In fact, because of these inactive subscribers, your domain reputation can get destroyed. You're very likely not gonna be generating enough revenue from your list and you're gonna make way less profit for your e-com store. But as you know, there is a very simple way to fix this problem and re-engage a huge percentage of those inactive subscribers. In this video, I'm gonna be breaking down exactly how I did it for my clients. So you can literally just copy and paste what I did. You can clean up your list. You can avoid getting your domain marked as spam. Cause look, you know, we recently just put in this exact same system for one of our clients in the personal care niche and they added 58K in new monthly revenue from their email list in just eight months of working with us. And we just had another client, Garage Tech, increase their revenue by 43% in just four months of working with us. And a massive part of those two strategies were re-engaging these inactive subscribers. So if you follow everything that I lay out for you in this video, you'll very likely be able to achieve similar results. So today I'm gonna to be covering what exactly is inactivity because most people get this completely wrong. Number two, creating segments. Number three, sending re-engagement emails. Most people never do this. Number four, exporting your inactive list and deleting inactive subscribers. Number five, setting up a flow automation to help with future inactivity. And number six, the right and wrong way to clean your list. Literally everything you need, the exact blueprint to clean up your list so you can avoid the spam box and make more money from your active subscribers. All right, let's jump in here. So first question, what actually is inactivity? Because most people get this completely wrong. People don't understand exactly what this means. So the basic level, it means a lack of engagement or response from subscribers over a certain period of time. So very simply, what we like to say is you, you create a segment and it's gonna be something like this. No opens or clicks in the last number of days or after, you know, X number of email sets. So it could be no opens or clicks in 180 days or no opens or clicks after eight email campaigns have been sent to this person. Really, there's not a lot of metrics that you can use besides open and clicks to really see if people are engaging. Besides, you know, opens and clicks are really to deal with the emails themselves. And then on the site, on your Shopify site or on your WooCommerce site or your Magento or whatever site, there's a couple different metrics that you can see here that tell if there's recent activity. So active on site, viewed product, added cart, checkout started and place order. That's really the funnel that people go through. So you can clearly see when or when people are not going through these, these metrics. So if none of these metrics are firing, they're not opening or clicking any emails and they're not active on the site, they're not adding things to their cart, that means that we should suppress them from Clayview. We don't really want to continue to send emails that are never gonna get opened or clicked or never gonna lead to any sort of conversion like this on the site. Now, thing is, why does this actually matter? Who cares about these inactive profiles? A couple things here, very likely could be paying for those inactive profiles. So depending on your Klaviyo plan and when you bought Klaviyo, if you've bought it recently, you're gonna actually have to pay for those inactive profiles. It used to not be the case. I could go into a lot more depth on Klaviyo plans and things like that, but uh, you very likely could be paying for all of the profiles within your account. And the thing is, if you're sending to these people, your metrics are gonna suffer. So open rates, click rates, purchase rates, and general deliverability, health is all gonna go down if you are sending to these people. Now, just to get it started, you need to find who's actually unengaged within your Klaviyo account. So what you can do is you can create a segment of unengaged contacts. So you could first go over to the list and segments page under the audience tab, and then you create a segment with the following conditions. So for email, there's of course gonna be a different segment than SMS. So just getting into email, we like to say, we like to look at people who can receive email marketing and received email at least once in the last 72 weeks. However, they haven't opened an email, they haven't clicked, they haven't been active on site, they haven't viewed any products, they haven't started any checkouts, and they haven't placed any orders anytime in the last 72 weeks. Now, this is gonna be about one and a half years, so these people are really, really unengaged. You could also be more aggressive and you could do in the last six months, eight months, 12 months, stuff like that. You can kind of play around and see where are the majority of my unengaged email subscribers. But these for sure are gonna be people that if they haven't engaged with you in a year and a half, 
They've gone through Black Friday, they've gone through a Cyber Monday, they've gone through all your holidays and nothing is appealing to them. So for sure, these guys are gonna be unengaged. Now for SMS, there's not gonna be the same exact metrics. We can do uh, something like this here, can receive SMS marketing and has been created at least 60 days ago. We wanna put this in here just because if someone just signed up to the email list, we don't want them in the unengaged. We want them to have at least 60 days of being on the list before we mark them as unengaged. And received SMS, we want that to be greater than five in the last 60 days. You can kind of adjust this up or down depending on how often you actually send SMS. And they want and clicked SMS zero times in the last 60 days. So uh, again, you can change this, you can change around these variables. You can change this to 90 days, do a 90 day unengaged segment or received SMS is greater than a different number. It just really depends on exactly how often you're sending SMS. You can kind of adjust that up or down, but either way you wanna find the people who are just not responding, never clicking on SMS and they don't care and are just hurting your metrics. All right, so that's how to create the segment of unengaged engage contacts. Now there's a couple of things that you can do here. One, you can go ahead and you can just delete these guys straight up. Number two, you can send a campaign to try to win them back. Or number three, you can set up a win back flow. So we're going to talk about first the campaign, how to send some campaigns to these guys. Also, I'm going to set up a flow and show you guys exactly right here, how to set up that flow. And then after all those two are done, if you still want to suppress these guys, I'll show you exactly how to delete them. So really all you're doing here with creating a campaign to help win these guys back is just hitting them with your most irresistible offer. So basically I tell my e-com brand owner clients, option A, people come back, they make a purchase and eventually they return you a lot more in ROI. You might take a hit on the margins once because you're getting a really irresistible offer. You're getting a really great discount, really the max discount that you can afford. Forward. But the thing is, take that hit once and they're back into your system. Or option B, they're gone for good and see you later. You know, they're no big deal. They're gone. They're never coming back no matter what. So you hit them with your best offer you possibly could. And after that, it's like, you can't save everyone, right? So what you can do is just send a couple uh, win back campaigns just with a great irresistible offer. One to three is usually gonna do the trick. Now, this is something that's great to do every now, every so often. But what you really wanna do is you wanna set up an automated flow that will send these emails with a great irresistible offer once they actually do become unengaged. Cause you don't wanna be doing these campaigns all the time. You know, they're good every now and then, but what you wanna do is really uh, have it done automatically. So uh, what you can do here is set up what's called a customer win back flow. So how this works is this is based on when someone places an order or if someone enters the unengaged segment, you can do either of these triggers here. Um, but we're gonna talk about when someone places an order, so, uh, and then they never, you're trying to win them back because they've never placed an order in a very long time. So what we do here is we first uh, set the trigger up as when someone places an order, and then we wanna look at 60 days or 75 days. Uh, somewhere around there, it actually really depends on your typical purchase cycle. So uh, say if you sell 30 day supplies, you want it to be two to two and a half times your typical repeat order. So if you sell, um, you know, a 30 day supplement, a 30 day supply of a supplement, uh, you do 30 days times two, two or 2.5, and that would be around 60 or 75 days. If it's something that moves a lot faster, like drinks or snacks or something like that with a really, really quick refill rate, you could set these two kind of split tests up as 30 or 45 days. Or if you're a brand that there's not a lot of repeat orders, you could set this for really long. Like if you're a furniture brand, it could be like two years. If they haven't bought anything from you in two years, you might wanna get rid of them on your list. Or if it's a fashion brand, uh, and you know that people typically buy four times per year or two times per year, you could set this to like, 90, 120, or 180 days. And so as I kind of alluded to there, the point of, of the conditional split is that you're just testing when the best time delay is. Usually we just set up two that we think are around when we would consider someone unengaged after they place an order. Um, and so this email number 1A and 1B is exactly the same. And it's basically just saying, hey, we miss you. There's, uh, you know, it's been quite a while. We wanna let people know, hey, we noticed you left. It's just a quick nudge and just saying, hey, in case you forgot what makes us different, here's our USPs. And if you have any relevant updates like new products, this is exactly where you should showcase them. What we like to typically do is have no discount for this particular email. So we, we send them email number one, and then 
We wait three days here and then we send them a discount. So here, if they never do anything off that first one, um, I didn't put it up here, but you're gonna have the flow of filters. You're gonna wanna say, you know, placed, um, has not placed order uh, since starting this flow. And so you're gonna go in here and you're gonna say email number two, here's a discount uh, with the benefits and social proof. So you can use a little bit of urgency. Again, saying, hey, here's the discount. Uh, you include some different products from email number one, include lots of social proof and FOMO. So this is just saying, you know, really trying to get them back with uh, your best offer that you can give. Email number three here, after a five day delay, is the second discount or offer reminder, letting them know that you care, giving them some more product recommendations, and even making this a plain text email from the founder has worked really, really well. So that's a worthy split test or it's a worthy um, thing to put in here. And then after that, you're gonna wait five days. And then email number four is just a simple goodbye for now email. If nothing gets them engaged and they haven't made a purchase since starting this flow, at this point, this is where you tell them they'll be removed from the list unless they click a certain button to stay on the list. So if they don't click that button, they're, they're deleted, they're off the list. All right, so that was the flow that you can set up. That's the customer win back flow. At this point, you're, if they've never engaged with any of those two things, you're gonna wanna export the inactive list and delete inactive subscribers. So if they still haven't bought, you're gonna suppress them from your database. So what you can do is you can go to the list and segments tab, and then you can find your unengaged segment that you just created in the previous step. And then click three dots on the far right. So this guy right there. And then you just click suppress current members to suppress everyone in that list or your segments. So I'll do a quick example here. Let's say, you're inside your Klaviyo accounts, you see, okay, boom, unengaged profiles to suppress, person can receive email marketing, but it's exactly as we said, they, they're not interested in anything in the last 72 weeks. We would go up to here, and then we would hit suppress current members, and then bulk suppress, super simple. And then in the future, what you can do is you wanna always send campaigns to engaged segments only, not the entire list. So what you do is when you're sending campaigns, you don't wanna send to just newsletter, you wanna send it to you know, your 120 or 180 day engaged segment just like this. So two examples here on screen, you can kind of pause this, but 90 day engaged because person can receive a marketing because they subscribed, open or clicked is more than zero in the last 90 days. Or you can also add those, you know, add to the cart, active on site, check out started and placed order metrics to your 90 day engaged, just depending on personal preference. And then if you wanna be safe, either way works. You can either you know, take your entire list and exclude unengaged people, or you can send just directly to engaged people. Either way works. Um, I like to just do this so I can send to one segment and it automatically removes anyone who doesn't fit this uh, engagement criteria. But also it works too. You can just not send to unengaged subscribers. Totally cool. It's the exact same thing. All right. I got a bunch of examples of customer win back emails that I think are really gonna be uh, helpful for you to see what these look like. So as you can see, you know, what happens? We missed you, get back on track. We don't do this often, how is 10% off? Uh, we miss you, here's 30% off your entire order. Um, here's kind of a fun, uh, you can kind of read the copy here, a fun little PS line. Uh, but really you can kind of see here with these examples, you wanna say, hey, you know, I miss you you know, you sign up for the list to get this, like, is that still true? Like, let's get back together. Fancy seeing you again. It's been a minute, you know, take X percent off your next order with comeback, comeback 15, you know, kind of a, this is the last email that you'll ever see. We miss you. Hey, it's been a while. We miss you. This is kind of a fun one here. It's got a little flow chart, which I think is really, really cool. Kind of leads to some of these products. Hey, we need to talk. We used to be soulmates. We really miss you and reasons to come back to the website. So yeah, those are just a few examples in our mini swipe file. And yeah, hope you uh, got a ton of value out of what we just shared. All right, and that's exactly how I would remove an inactive subscriber from my email list with Klaviyo. Now, if you're an e-commerce brand owner watching this video and you're trying to do something like I just talked about, I hope you got a ton of value from this and you learned about not only the best way to remove inactive subscribers from your list, but also the best way to re-engage them and get them to buy your products. Now, I can't go into every single nitty gritty in and out detail of how to run everything within your Klaviyo account, but luckily for you, I made a 26 minute long free YouTube video going exactly over the next step you need to take 
in order to get out of the spam box with your Klaviyo account or continue to stay out of it. So just hit that video on screen and I'll see you there.